And uh, now that brings us to my favorite segment, which is your favorite segment. No, nah, my, my favorite favorite. Person. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> What's up? Man, so it's time for it to be or not to be. Uh, <clears throat> as you guys might know by now, if y'all don't, I'll let y'all know one of my favorite things to do in my small amount of spare time is to watch Tubi. Um, shout out to Tubi and all the great entertainment they provide. Tubi, if y'all want to sponsor us, let us know. Um, Because sometimes I hook my phone up to my Marshall speakers and I hear Tubi extremely well and it makes everything have great audio quality. But, so, uh, to be or not to be, I take a look at a Tubi film and I grade it on Kool-Aid cups because I like Kool-Aid. One cup being the least amount you can get, five being the most. Uh, I grade on five different things. The digital quality, which is how it looks. The audio quality, how it sounds. The soundtrack that they play throughout the movie. The acting and the plot. So, this week, for my new Tubi people, I decided to take it back to somebody my boy Lee put me on a long time ago, Murder Pain. And this movie is called Plug Love. I think this is probably like one of the OG... I don't want to just call it like black low budget film movies, but like independent type films that Tubi is getting popular for. Uh, It came out a few years ago. I first saw it on uh, another streaming service that I don't talk about because I'm I'm Tubi gang. Um, But it's on there. He also, Murder Pain has a few other movies. He has a TV series, McGraw Ave. But check him out, man. He's actually probably like one of the best independent actors on there and directors. So this was one of his first big movies, Plug Love. Um, So to start things off with the digital quality, it's crazy because this movie is actually really good in all subjects that I grade on, despite it being older than a lot of the current movies out. So my digital quality with this, uh, I'm going to have to give it a solid 4.5 just because I can hear all the time. I don't have to have closed captions on. It was shot really well, no echoes or anything. So with the digital quality, like I said, I'm going to stick to a strong 4.5. Uh, well, I'm sorry, I just described the audio quality. But yeah, audio quality, I'm saying 4.5 Kool-Aid Cups. Digital quality, it was shot well. No dark shadows, no really bright lights. Um, really good quality. Like I say, didn't have to rewind it so I can see what they were looking at or what they were doing so I get the digital quality of 4.5 as well soundtrack not gonna cap nothing memorable sticks out to me about it so I'm just gonna give it a 4 just because I know it wasn't horrible or that would have stuck out the acting as I said Murder Pain is pretty good man he has a really good supporting cast around him that's on a lot of uh, other movies and TV shows that he's in so I'm gonna get at a 4.5 as well and the plot pretty legit like i say murder pain really don't miss i haven't seen anything bad from him so to keep that uh up to par yeah let's keep that other part let's give him a 4.5 on the plot so we total those up and divide that by five and we have a 4.4 you know what i'm gonna bump that up to a good old solid e uh equal 4.5 across the board for plug love 4.5 kool-aid cups Again, uh, if y'all have seen it on other platforms, go check it out on Tubi. It's free. Run them streams up so Murder Pain and the crew and the cast can get them stream money, get paid off that. And uh, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section.